Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi you guys, happy Wednesday to you and this is day 37 of our Quarantine Gardener's Daily Video Journal. Today's a follow-up from day 31 last Thursday's episode where we talked about rain barrels and how those work. So today we're out here in the front of our yard and we're looking at where we're going to place our first rain barrel. We have a little bit of prep work to do to get this in place and we're looking into what we need to remove, or what we need to transplant. We wanted to include you in on our planning and just show you what steps we need to take. So here we are out front everybody and yesterday this is where we planted our gladiolas and we noticed a really good spot for our rain barrel we wanted to place out here so we took it out and placed it out here as to give us a good idea of what we're going to do. So to get to that rain barrel first you need to think about when you're placing a rain barrel how are you going to get to it and so right in this area in front of the rain barrel and then leading down this way towards our garden area we have to continue see where that paving stone is we have to continue this path through this area to get access and not step on any plants so we'll have to remove a couple plants in the pathway here first off is this ajuga and then we've got this other plant over here this small kind of gangly looking azalea and so also right here there's a fern and then some ground cover around the base around there and then we've got this columnar yew tree here that we need to move and you can see it's pretty old it's um, got some maturity to it we're going to have to handle that with care and uh, make sure we get as much of the root system as we can so that's kind of like phase one remove the plants and make the path like sean said and phase two would be making this area more safe um we need to stabilize this i don't know if you can tell but it's actually crooked it's not very stable and that's not a, that's not good that's that's bad it's because like sean explained in last thursday's video if you, this thing fills up with 50 gallons of water or even just a gallon of water it could tip over it could cause big problems it could hurt you know it's, it's a safety issue so we need to build a base that is level and safe for this to, to rest on so uh after we create the stable base we're gonna need to plumb in the gutter you see up here coming off the roof we'll need to plumb that in to the top of this rain barrel and so that gutter it'll come up probably from probably from about see there see there's the elbow we'll probably come down and maybe go to about here we'll cut into this because it's sheet it's just sheet metal it's just a type of metal pretty thin we'll be able to cut into this access this maybe put a shutoff valve down below it so we can make the water flow this way and it'll come this way and it'll come down and it'll go right to this vent where the water will go in and fill this bad boy up and then once this gets full we'll just have to keep an eye on it and then back up here where that valve is we'll be able to turn that back on to let the water flow back down and not block it to come this way because if the barrel's full then there's no sense in having the water come this way it'll just keep flowing over so while we're thinking about that we also have to think about how close is this going to get to the house as far as a structure being and we don't want it that close we, it needs to be about two feet at least away from the building so we can get behind it maintain down below uh, of the house and get to the siding and to this window if need be so we need to think about that so this is actually going to be further out this way away from the house so our base will be down here it'll be built up and then we'll be able to access it it'll be sturdy and anchored and then it'll come off of here for access to the water and then come back down to here to the vent to fill it up so in addition to all of those phases, as we kind of laid out for you, we need to decide how we want to use the rain barrel. And that means like, do we want to hook up a hose to it and run it out to our garden? Do we want to just have it available to fill up watering cans and just carry, you know, carry the water over ourselves? We're not sure. Nope, we really don't know yet. Um, it's, we have the options of doing all of those or just one or two. It's, it's kind of up to us. I see us using it in multiple different ways. I do too. I like the idea of having the ability to hook up a hose and the can. Mm -hmm. so Me too. I like that. And that's something for you to consider too. How do you want to use your rain barrel and what access you're going to need? Uh, our next step is to start moving and getting these plants kind of 
transplanted and, and thinking about where their new homes are going to be. So I don't know about Sean, but I see us launching this project in the next week or so. Looks like we're gonna need to order some parts though. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're gonna, okay. need, we're gonna need a couple parts, but nothing too bad. So thanks everybody for being here and we hope you learned something. Uh, it's great to have you follow along with us on all our different projects. Be safe out there and know that you're not alone and we're gonna get through this. And we'll be back tomorrow on Thursday, day 38, with another new project. Yep. Until then, stay safe, comment down below. Also give us that thumbs up, let us know we're doing good and subscribe to our channel so you get all the updates to our new videos. And we'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Have see a great day. You, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.